a pleasant day to you good morning you know people like to ask the question to themselves sometimes they don't do it loud sometimes they do it silently and guess what is the question what would i be remembered for that's what they ask what would i be remembered for and some people put up all types of monuments uh, to remind john john public that they were wrong some people even write hey nicodemus was here and they put a date but listen you know god wants to be remembered by something in, Je in Exodus chapter 20, verse 8, right on to verse 12, it says, Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou nor thy servant, nor thy manservant. Uh, and it goes on. But the point here is, and parents, you must teach your children to recite that. The point here is that Papa God says, how we should remember him his monument that he is large and in charge and that he created us is when we remember to keep the sabbath day holy the seventh day and listen stop the argument as to whose sabbath it is uh, god gave the sabbath so that man can rest worship and recognize him god as the creator stop the argument and do not keep a sabbath of convenience like thursday or sunday no god doesn't accept that he says remember out of the ten commandments of uh, god that's the only one that is prefaced by remember god knew looking down uh, uh, the pages of uh, into the future he knew that man would want to forget. So he said, remember. And listen to this. Just as people want to be remembered. By the way, I don't know what I would be remembered by and for when I die. But I hope it is something that is positive that will help somebody. Hear this. You know, many Christians say that they are following Jesus Christ. But Jesus Christ in Luke chapter 4 and verse 15, it says, As his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. So if Jesus is your example, you've got to keep the Sabbath. And if God is your example, Genesis chapter, chapter 2 reminds us that he, God, rested from his work on the Sabbath day. When you rest, there is a health benefit also. The human body was not meant to go on and on. It, God created us so that we must work six days and rest on the seventh day. The body must get a chance to recuperate also. So there are health benefits when we keep the Sabbath. God and Father, help us to remember that day that you, God, want to be remembered by. Help us not to argue with you, but to keep your sabbath day holy simply put bless us as we go through the day in jesus name amen may god richly bless you